I am Dr. Arabia Molette, and today we're going to talk about cardiovascular disease, aka coronary artery disease. So heart disease, to really break it down, aka coronary artery disease, is just it's a condition that is characterized by a group of other conditions. So for example, it's hypertension, myocardial infarction, which aka heart attack, and strokes, and eventually those things will actually lead to chronic kidney disease. And so when we think of heart disease, the first thing I'm asking, uh, ask the patient is, well, do you suffer from hyper, high blood pressure or hypertension? What is your family history? What are you eating at home? What are your activities that you do at home? Are you smoking cigarettes? Do you drink alcohol? Are you active? So those are the things that really makes a difference when it comes down to treatment in persons that are suffering from cardiovascular diseases, especially African-American women, because again, women's health is not a priority in our country. Black women should be concerned because cardiovascular diseases kill roughly about 50,000 African-American women annually. By the time an African-American woman becomes 20 years old, she is at increased risk for developing heart disease. The thing is about cardiovascular disease, it affects all women. The problem is that amongst African-American women is underdiagnosed or misdiagnosed. Many of us are coming into the emergency room at a very young age with chest pain, shortness of breath, high blood pressure, and that's very concerning. Signs are shortness of breath, dizziness, of heart palpitations, not really generalized weakness. Some people feel numbness on, on the left side or the right side of the body, or they develop headaches. So once you develop any of those symptoms, you gotta come to the emergency department. Call 911 and, and go to the emergency department immediately so you can get further work because you may be appended a stroke or a heart attack. The first treatment that you that we like to propose to patients is actually changing their lifestyle. Get rid of the cigarettes, decrease the consumption of alcohol, cook, you know, develop healthy cooking skills, just promoting eating eating better. I mean, that's really, I mean, eating healthy and 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 decreasing the consumption of red meat and increasing your intake of fruits and vegetables and bran, I mean, it goes a long way because food is a part of, it's medicine as well, but it depends on what kind of food that you're putting in your body that can actually destroy you at the same time. So this is what we gotta do. We have to go out there and then we gotta go on the battlefield and promote healthy living and wellness.